Hey everybody, it's, I'm back with another demo disc video. This time we're taking a look at the second of the PlayStation Interactive samplers with Volume 2. Where it was released in 1996. Really when the PlayStation was already on, already out there and was really starting to kind of find its footing in terms of exactly what it was it was trying to set out and accomplish. There's a, certainly a lot more that's going on with this demo. You get a really over-the-top, like, this ridiculous video with this guy shouting at you. It's just it's really nonsense and silly and stuff, but this was still definitely during the you are not ready marketing. Because, you know, a hardcore PlayStation. <laughs> I don't know what else to really say about this. It's just a very silly intro, but there's definitely a lot more going on this time with Interactive Sampler Volume 2. Where we didn't have too many games that we could play in a few videos, this time we've actually got eight playable games and four videos. So, definitely a lot more to show off in this demo uh, disc than there was in the first, which is nice. And in fact, because the way it works is these first uh, eight here are all the games and the bottom four are the videos, I'm actually going to go through the videos first, just so we can get them out of the way and that way I can uh, show off the games. Uh, so that way we can finish off with the games instead. So first up is a video for a game called Crazy Ivan. Yo. So yeah, that one kind of ends very abruptly. It kind of seems really weird. It seems like it's a kind of like a, a mech fighter or of some sorts, but with like real life cutscenes of care people and stuff. Not really sure what that's about. I've never actually played the game, but let's uh, let's not worry about that. Let's just look at the next video, which is Aquanauts Holiday. Yeah, I'm not really sure who if that was trying to appeal to. I'm sure there's some people who probably found it interesting, but I find it, I find it personally quite strange. And there's a third video, actually, if I remember correctly, yes, uh, does not have uh, its own like audio, so it just keeps playing the music from the, uh, the, the the demo itself. This is MLB Pennant Race. It's like a really early baseball game. Uh, kind of semi-3D, like the background stuff, but the textures and sprites of the players are more like 2D and whatnot so it's kind of like it's kind of like that getting in their point like when they were trying to like you know find find that kind of meddling point when I but you know early early PlayStation stuff so I'm not really too concerned about that I I've never really played a baseball game on the PS1. I'm not so... I don't really know which one's the best. I don't really play too many sports uh, video games. So I couldn't really tell you to be sure uh, on how good pennant race is or not. And the last video here is for a fighting game, Street Fighter Alpha.
Just the way he says it. it's kind of amazing. Me. Anyway, so that's the video. So that's that uh, part out of the way. So now we can get on to the more fun part, which is the games. I'm just gonna go from top left to bot to middle right. So basically, as you expect. So the first game we have here is NBA Shootout. Of course, it gives us our whole controls game. Not expecting to do very well at this, but we'll see. And yeah, I I, mu I much prefer this layout of the inner of the how the demos is laid out uh, compared to Volume One. Um, you, you'll kind of see this that that design repeated uh, as we go on to this like they'll they'll look pretty similar like they'll make it look fancier than uh, volume 2 but you get the idea so I guess with this it just puts us right into a game we can choose to either be the Orlando Magic or the Phoenix Suns and they could just do that I guess to kind of just make a beat Cause sure, why not? Um, I'll just go with the magic, I guess. Doesn't really matter. These aren't the. I'm not into either of these teams anyway. So I'm more. I'm of course me being a Canadian guy. I've always kind of supported the Raptors. So, and hey, they they've been really good lately. So, well, they they were until the NBA got suspended because of pretty serious reasons that you already all know about. I managed. I managed to block it. Hey, I managed to uh, get the ball. Oh, never mind. It's been taken from me. Uh, I got a defensive foul, and I like how he tries to go for a dunk, uh, despite the fact that that hasn't had the ball until now. I'm <laughs> this is not. I'm not surprised. I managed to somehow already get a foul this early on into the fucking game. I'm, doesn't look like we have that much time. I I wonder if there's any if there's like if it's like any quarters or if you really only get like this much time. Okay, not <laughs> not what I meant to do, but oh, that actually counted. Okay, I I thought it, that wasn't gonna count, but it did. Oh my god. Ah, no. I didn't. That just didn't look like it was gonna happen. Oh, did my character trip? I think he might have tripped. Why does he keep going? Why does he keep going for the guy at the end? I want him to go to the guy in front. I have, must. I guess I have to press a different button. Oh wow! I did not mean to do that. Imagine if that went in though. I'm just gonna go until the timer runs out. So I'm not really. I, I wasn't expecting to do very good at this anyway. So. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I got. I have to press circle. Ooh, hey, shut up. There we go. See, I did it. I managed to get a. I got managed to get one in. Hooray! I have the ball again. Yeah. Oh, pfft. okay. Thanks. I don't even know what I did. It's hard to see. Is he gonna make this? Nope. Not even close. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> you don't get a lot of time for this, and I'm thinking that's the end of the demo. Yep. That's that's it. That's just the end of the demo. Of course, we've already seen that, so we're not gonna watch it again. Okay. So it, it's a, it's an older sports game. It's probably aged. Not, it hasn't, I imagine, aged particularly amazing, but. Whatever. Anyways, the next game is actually one that's quite fondly enjoyed by a lot of uh, PlayStation fans. Is Die Hard Trilogy. It's basically a trilogy of um, takes the three Die Hard movies uh, and they kind of combine the kind of games they were. Um, kind of takes inspiration to each and just kind of gives them their own play style. 
uh, for each of the game for e to cut that kind of gives a motive similar to that of the movies they represent. It's actually quite good. Um, it's one of the better movie tie-in games, even if it's not specifically a complete tie-in. It does a lot of things that are are different to definitely different from the the actual movies for obvious reasons. But it's but it's very good. I remember quite enjoying it. And if I remember correctly, this demo is going to be based off the second one, which they have like um. Yep. See, take aim and play a segment from Die Hard Two, Die Harder, and it's they kind of do like that that kind of like what what was that what was that Sega shooting thing where like it zooms in Virtual Cop or something? I don't even remember. And it's a good thing I switched emulation in terms of how I used to do this because. Back when I was first playing this, I could not figure out how to, um... I think it was- this was completely silent when I was playing it. And now I- and now we actually have, um... Now we actually have music. Seems like very stock-ish music, with a kind of... Maybe, but I don't know if this song is in the final game. I actually have not played the final game, I just know- I just know from what I've seen, and that it apparently- it does appear to be very good. So we just we just move the, this thing around, and if we we hold the the, the shoulder button L2 and R2, we can we can move it faster. Just I, I'm wondering if this this I suspect maybe this game is probably light gun compatible too. So you, if you have one of the light guns, you probably could do even better. That you could probably do better than this. I'm not 100% sure. Give me that. I want that. Yeah! Oh, pfft. I've mercy killed someone. I'm sorry. It's quite violent, too. Stop! Get get out of the fucking way! If you were if you were actually concerned about your fucking health, you you wouldn't be standing and you would not be standing in front of the fucking in front in front of the fucking what is it? The fucking the terrorists and stuff. Give me that. I, don't, I need the health. Alright. Oh, fucking get out of the way. Not trying to not trying to kill these people, but they won't. I can understand if they're being held hostage. That's that's understandable, but still. I'm probably just gonna go until I die, I think. Which will probably be soon. Give me that. I want that. And now, okay, so the music does loop here. This is also, like, very... You can also tell how this demo is quite early. Like, there's no, like, other sound effects or anything. All you hear is, like, the same sound of a gun, which I think the gun sound... I think was changed by the release of the final game, or maybe even some later demos of this game. But you can de you can definitely tell how this this was this was rather early state. Oh, someone's shooting at me! Not doing. I don't. For, for a game I've never really played that much, I I'm not doing too bad. Oh, time out. Am I about? Is there is there a time limit to how long I can play the demo? I'm gonna probably imagine so. Oh. Pfft. Okay, I get. I guess once the time's out, that's it. So how many did I end up killing? Let's see. Ninety-eight percent, so almost all of them. How many did I end? How many of the innocents did I end up killing? Oh boy, seventy-nine percent. I guess you you don't get a yippee ki yay, motherfucker. All right, um, and then we, we can just uh, give a name. I might as well just be T T T T. Let's just be all on fire. Oh, is that it? Where's where's the end? Oh, I just pressed start. Okay, that that works. 
Hey, I'm on the top of the board. Whatever. Okay, so that's that's that. It's not that's not too bad. I actually did a little better than that on that than I suspected I was going to, but you know, whatever. Anyways, the next one's probably gonna be the one I'm the least interested in. Well, except for one, but I'll meant I'll get to that when I do. Uh, VR soccer. I do not again. I do not expect to do very good at this, but we'll see. We'll see exactly how I get on with this. I've never particularly been a soccer stroke uh, football fan. It's not really ever been my kind of sport. Just kind of doesn't just kind of doesn't really interest me that much. But I understand how huge it is in other markets, especially uh, in 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 like Europe. So just. I'm pretty much just like an outsider more than anything, really. It's part of a VR sports series, I guess. VR Soccer 96 demo. Here we are. It's a beautiful sunny afternoon. The Apparently the referee is Ben, Lo ben Roethlisberger. Wait, not him. It's a different Roethlisberger. I think I do have control. Oh, Tom. there you go. I just had to wait for the... Thing. Kick to the teammate. It's a good close oh, it got taken there. away from me. And I want the ball. Give me the ball. Oh, no. Frame. Oh, I got it back. Oh, but I kicked it away. Oh, he, oh they, they stole it. And I stole it back. Neat a short pass. Oh, oh, I still got it. Oh, I did. I did attempt to shoot just to, to keep to get a goal, and it did not work. Stop bouncing it off your heads. Aha! You can't have a goal. <laughs> oh, come on. Give it back! I want it! I, I got it. Oh, I lost it again. Oh, pfft. What, 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 where, what, what, there was an attempt. Also, I don't think the time usually goes this quickly. Just, just, I have a hunch. Really, the movement off the ball is not good. Oh, that that went out of bounds. <laughs> that's 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 good. I I'm doing. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I want the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. I didn't work. Oh, <laughs> Panova got a goal just off the top. Oh, I can see the outside a little bit. Well, we got to do another kickoff, and it goes back to me. I imagine if I scored a goal, they would be the one doing the kickoff. Oh, stop fucking taking my ball. I want it. Ha. <laughs> no, there's nothing over there. Why am I kicking the ball over there? <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Yeah, you think? It's a missed kick? <laughs> didn't really, it didn't really connect anywhere. That's a touch speculative. <laughs> that was off. So we're doing this. This is just going back and forth mostly. Oh, oh, stop, stop that! I want the ball. Oh, I kicked it away. <laughs> I'm not doing really well. I don't think. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Cooperin. And that makes it two nil. Yeah, thank you. I didn't I I couldn't tell otherwise. Uh. Oh. Good passing move. He's not a teammate. He's on the other team. Pavlenko. Oh, it's just out. Oh, no. Damn it! That didn't that didn't uh, connect. Oh, pfft. I can't tell what's happening. Oh, and I kicked it away. Oh! oh stop it! Stop taking my ball. I understand that you have a job. Oh, shit! Come on. Kick the ball. At least get it over here, maybe. Or maybe not. 
Stop doing that. Wow, I just tripped, I just chimp, trip, trimped, tripped. Oh, you stop that. And oh, that's halftime already, is it? Is that going to be, is that going to, are we actually going to play a full game or is it just go to halftime and that's the end of the demo? And they were never seen again. I'm going to have a feeling that's the end of the demo. Yep. <sighs> Thank you for playing VR Soccer 96. Ooh. All right. Whatever. <sighs> Not really something I would regularly play, but whatever. I had a bit of enjoyment from it. Anyways, here's the one that I'm really looking forward to. Of course, me being the car guy, I suppose that's not really surprising. It's the original Need for Speed. The game where you press square to accelerate and X to break. That's a little bit backwards. But hey, that's how it worked with this game, so... You know. Can't, I can't think of many other demos that have a Need for Speed game. This might be one of the only ones I can think of. Because I don't think EA may put their demos out of games very often. I know, I mean, there's other Need for Speed demos. But I can't think of any other ones really for the for the PS1. Besides from maybe this one. But we'll see. I, I Because I'm going to be going through a whole bunch of demos on the channel. So we'll. I guess maybe we'll find out. Maybe there will be another one at some point. Now let's just... I guess we can, again, we can get a reminder of the controls here. All right, and yep, we just do a single race. And I'm gonna, yeah, let's, I'm not even gonna bother scrolling through all of them. There's just gonna be the coastal track that's gonna be available, and that's it. And yep, one car available, and that's the Viper. And we'll just go with that. Can't look at the showcase, that's only for the full version. And we can't choose to have certain opponents, we just have to go with the pack. I guess that makes sense. So yeah, I, like I said, I don't know of any other demo discs, at least that I've come across, that has an, a Need for Speed demo. Um, who knows, maybe there might be one. I don't recall ever seeing anything online about it, or, or any videos, at least for the PS1. I know there's, P P for the PS2, there's like, all, I'm pretty sure all the Need for Speeds had demos. Maybe except for Pro Street, I. but other than that, really, I. and when it comes to PS1, I can't think of any. All right, here we go. I mean, I've, I've played this game before. I know what to do. I think. Probably be probably still go a little awkward. I'm not. Probably won't lie, but we'll see. The game mostly plays like the final game. I, I, I would suspect it's probably very close to how the final PlayStation game was released. But oh yeah, I'm already in first place. Nice. That didn't take long at all. I was doing this off screen and I was struggling to even get to first, and now I'm already in, and now I am on screen and I'm already in first. What is this? I suspect it's probably because I actually managed to remember to hit the hit the button to shift to the gear like right away. That might have a little bit something to do with it. But yeah, this is one of the. It's more, I guess, more simpler tracks to use. It's not the simplest one, but this one, is, they don't make it too difficult. Oh, of course, I get passed by the Diablo because that car goes, like, just over 200, whereas this Viper is limited to 160. Ugh, that's, uh, kind of expected that to come. Could have used a handbrake, but I don't want to. Ow. Okay, I, I really, I, really, the only person in front of me is the one with like, eight, like the, uh, out of the pack, like the car with the best top end, Diablo. Okay, fuck it, do use a little bit of the handbrake there, because the handbrake feels a little slow otherwise. Oh my god, that was maybe a little too much. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I'm catching him now. He's he's kind of losing me. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's just a demo. 
not like you get any bonuses for coming in first. Especially for a demo. Alright, cool. I'm, I'm, I, 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 still, I think I did relatively well. There's only just someone who had a faster car that beat me, so I guess something you would kind of expect. Alright, two players, switch screen, six tracks, and one bonus track. Is there anything else? Or do I have to press the button? Oh, okay. Replay with eight camera angles. Supports link-up cable. Remember that. Supports the memory card. Supports analog controllers. Interactive Dolby surround sound. Rotor track statistics. Narration video in each card. Supports analog controller. The dual analog controller? Like, not the dual shock. The dual analog. That, like, short-lived variant of the controller. That's the only thing I'm guessing. Hmm. Interesting. Anyways, next up we have is a game called Assault Rigs. We should be interesting. Looks okay. Oh yeah, a lot of these you might have noticed you could press like start to view the demo, but I don't, I'm obviously don't really want to do that. I just kind of want to actually play the games. Makes it more fun for the video. Which you would hope. <laughs> a nice like papyrus like font there, Assault Rigs. <clears throat> Oh, jeez. Ah, go away. So I gotta shoot that at that thing. I shoot, like, these triangle polygons. Got, yeah, like, some funky... Got some very funky music playing. Can I change my am weapon? Maybe not. Maybe I might have to pick some up if I can. Ah! I don't want to be hit. Or else I'm gonna die. My health already red at the front. So that's not a good. That's already not a good sign. I'm mostly trying to do the the thing. Oh, oh there's other cameras. Oh, here you get like one. Oh, this might be a little better. You, you see immediately in front of you. I guess you want to be picking these little gem things up. Not really sure what they do, but oh god, watch out for that! Holy shit. Oh, sorry, I, I, sh I shot it dead. This looks like something you could shoot, but uh, I guess not. I guess it's just... Prop. I'm going to s presume that someone is going to be there. I kind of wish what I could do is just kind of go like this, kind of go in sideways. I heard something. Oh, oh god, it's following me. I eat, oh, oh, I killed it. <laughs> I probably will die soon though, because I've taken a lot of damage at the front, and I, you know, this this seems like it's gonna be one of those games where it's like, if one of the things go down, you go down completely. So, uh, oh my God, it's, oh no, <laughs> there's a missile. Ah, stop it! I got a missile. And we switched it. Hey, there, there we go. I guess I think that's how I switched to it. I think there's a weapon. Is there a weapon there? Oh, I flipped. Oh, do I not flip back? Oh, there's a button. Okay. I was worried for a second. I was like, wait a minute, come on. Can't I flip back over? But no, you just press triangle. Really digging this music. Very funky. Even if it's not a particularly long track. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is one of those... I suspect this is one of those games you really gotta have to kind of memorize where everybody is and kind of really can memorize how to move your tank around without getting deaded. It's not a bad game, though. I didn't mind it too much. That music was funky. All right, here's the one that I remember. This one is gonna do absolutely nothing for me. It's Chronicles of the Sword. Look how many controls you got. Not many at all, as you will see why. Because even though this is kind of listed as a demo, it's not really a demo. Once it loads, that is. Ah, yeah, Cygnosis. They made many a PS1 games during its start.
Synthetic dimensions. I have not heard of them. That's a very um, lame looking title. Also runs at like f three frames or something. Ah, yes, the beauty. A loading screen right away. Some v it's a very boring and dreary music. Ah, yes, more loading. We just get to watch a man go through a, this weird-ass building, really. Don't think there's going to be too much else to it. It's kind of hard because the illusion is kind of, you, you kind of lose that illusion a little bit because of all the loadings. <laughs> I did not cut that. I did not cut that scream. That's just the, that's just the demo doing that on its own. Yeah, it's like what like what else am I really supposed to say about this? It's not it's not a game I can play. Nor is a game I would probably enjoy to, to much if I was able to play it. These are not really my style of games. There's a person there. <laughs> but it's not like he, he seems to care. Is this where the sword lives? Like, I mean, there's a sword. Maybe this is how you get the sword. How would I know? I don't know what that cutscene was supposed to imply. Didn't really seem to imply anything, really. Just more loading. Yes, because let's walk through an area where there seems to be a bunch of bees. I don't. That seems like a great idea. It doesn't even sound like bees, but this one just sounds like a, a, a looping fart. Has anyone actually played this game? If, if any, for those who are watching this. Like, is the game actually any good? I'm ge like, I'm genuinely curious to know. Like, I'm did anyone did anyone actually have this game and enjoy it? I'm sure it's a little more interesting the final game, but this demo, like this rolling demo that you have to watch, just it's just it doesn't seem very interesting because all it's really it, it seems to be really not much more. But you watch the scene. It, you, you, you're supposed to just look at the scenery whilst you watch this man walk around. They should, they, if they were going to show something for this game, they really should have shown a lot, some, some of the more like action based stuff, but there's a lot more like going on. Oh, suddenly now we're outside. Loading again. Oh, no, wait. He's, take, he's taking a weird path up. It's going inside. Loading. Oh, okay. Yeah, fucking dinosaur. Dinosaurs still live. Cool. <laughs> this is a fantasy world. A, a very fantasy world. Oh. I guess that didn't matter. You just went downstairs. Seems like this. You have like a dinner table. Oh, he picked something up. Holy shit. He actually did something a little bit differently. Oh wait, no. That might just be it. It looks like he's just walking out now. He's he's had enough. Oh wait, no. He picked another thing up. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm really making this sound more terrible than it actually. I'm sure it actually is, but I don't know. Oh, okay, a giant ass snake. Oh, wait, that's it. Okay, and now suddenly he's taking the bridge to hell. And you see the many people who have tried to go towards the bridge of hell and have not lived to tell the tale. <laughs> Seriously, what the hell is this? Is he about to go in? Oh. Oh, never mind. He suddenly killed. And that's it. It just ends like that. I have, like, no idea what to think about any of that. Like, uh, sure. 
Someone who's actually played the game maybe ha ha perhaps help give me a bit more to understand. Actually, I just realized this is a game from the first demo, Warhawk, if I remember correctly. I actually will play this first before I do the next game because I've already shown this off in Volume One. It's the only return it seems to be the only returning demo, so I want to actually finish the episode off with a different demo. So, well. Because I'm actually expecting this is going to be very similar to, if not probably the same as the first demo. Oh, yep, same thing. Find and retrieve a canister. Yep, same same layout. So this one I probably won't play for too long, because I'm because it looks like it's going to be the same as um. It looks like it's the same as the volume. The volume uh, one demo, the one that ended up crashing on me. I still don't exactly know what I'm supposed to do to get the canister. It's not a bad... Uh, don't get me wrong, this isn't a bad game. I just certainly don't think so. But I couldn't figure out the first time, and I'm pro I probably am not going to figure it out again. Also, no music. I'm pretty sure the first time I played this, there was music. There does not seem to be music. So was, did that just become a premium feature for Volume 1 or something? I've got lock-ons. But aren't these already lock-ons, you know? They certainly act like them. I think mean that's a replenish the thing. I just look at like that, those things going on. I'm thinking I probably have to shoot at that, don't I? There's like a whole bunch of things really have to shoot. Anyways, I've already played this, so we're gonna stop there because you you got the I you, if you've seen Volume One, then you've seen a little bit more. And I still don't exactly know how I'm supposed to play the game. Does look like there's supposed to be an exterior view. I wonder what button was that. I'll just take a. I want to take a quick look. But if there's a change. Up and oh, start and then up and down. That's a bit weird. Ah, huh, whatever. Anyways, so this is the la the last game we're gonna end with is Bogey Dead Six. This looks like a more traditional like, uh, dog fighting like playing like, uh, kind of jet game or whatever. It's not yet rated at the time of this demo. A lot of different controls, so I'm not expecting to be great at it. <laughs> I'm not one of those people who do very well with games. I have a lot of controls because that requires a lot of memory, and memory is something I'm not, I don't particularly have a lot of. So, Bogey Dead Six, 1996 Asmic, and 1996 Pegasus Japan. Two names I've not heard of. So. All right, there we go. I've already did. I've already done a job. I've shot something down. I suspect my job is to get all of them within the allotted time. Whatever, whether I do that or not, that's another thing. That's another story. Hooray! I shot something down. I have to kind of remember to make sure to like really really maneuver this thing around. I imagine when I see a warning that means someone's trying to lock on to me, so I don't wanna be locked on to. I saw someone there. Come back. I, I wanna fight. Let me shoot you down. Come here. Come here, coward. Ah, This is really disorient. This is actually kind of disorient. They're not gonna lie. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm having, I'm I'm struggling. I'm now struggling to even get the person. I also realize I'm like running out of fuel too. Am I out of my good weapons? Oh wait, no, it's X. Get him! Get him! He's right there! Please! I'm about to run out of fuel up here. I think we've been hit. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna get the last three, I think. I'm running out of time. Plus, I'm, out, I'm about to die of, because of no fuel. Maybe that's what the timer is for. Tells you how long your fuel will last. Could be. Yep, yeah, yeah, and just timeout. Again, it might be in one of, maybe, I just saw that since it's outside of the thing, maybe there's another, maybe that's another game that has a camera change. No, it doesn't look like it mentions anything about that in the controls, so I guess maybe not. That's a shame. Would have been a little bit easier for me, because I'm not very good with the cockpit view. But yeah, that's Interactive Sampler Volume 2. Um, some more demos to show. There's a couple good things in there. This still was kind of early with the PlayStation. It was still kind of trying to show it, find its footing. Uh, but it's definitely one of the... I definitely feel like it's a, it's overall a, a much stronger demo compared to Volume 1, for sure. Uh, but stay tuned for the next video. We're going to be moving over to probably one of the bigger interactive samplers. Mostly because... Oh, wait. Is this a... De what is this? Oh, this is for Bowie... I guess this is the video for Bowie Dead 6. I didn't even realize there were well, other videos. But... Hmm... That might, that might explain, I guess, some of the like the previews. Anyways, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, so, stay tuned for the next video. We're going to be taking a look at Interactive Sampler Volume 3, which there's like two revisions of, which I like to technically call 3.5. I'll try and show the, each of those offs because they, they, they are a little bit different in each way. Not massively different, but at least different enough to, sh to, like, to warrant uh, showing them off in the same video. So stay tuned for that, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, just check out all my links down below. Special thanks to both Toxic Honey Badger and Monday Bear Twenty One for their amazing support on Patreon, and I will see you guys soon.